All right, the Trump rally has slowed down a bit, but you know, as we continue to flirt with 20,000 here, many on Wall Street are saying the market is now in a show me mode, meaning we had a big run up anticipating tax reform and friendlier business climates, but now the Trump administration really has to deliver on it. We want to welcome back Mark Yusko and David Bonson. You know, Mark, if one of the areas that the market wants to see, let's deliver now, is yeah. Obamacare, uh, repeal and replace, and, and health care stocks have had a major uh, move this past week. Yep. Uh, what about health care? What about Ob Obamacare? Is this something that has to get done right out of the gate? I don't think it has to get done right out of the gate. I think it probably will be a high priority. And I think one of the challenges of any piece of legislation is there's the headline, and then there's all the tentacles underneath, and people say, oh, we want to repeal. Oh, well, we don't want to repeal that part or that part. So I think it's going to be more of an adjustment as opposed to uh, this immediate, we're just rip off the band aid. All right, so what do you want to tell investors about healthcare stocks uh, after the inauguration? What should they be doing? Is this something that you think uh, is, is a great long term investment here? We are big buyers of healthcare here. You know, healthcare was the worst performing sector last year on fears of the Democratic sweep. Mm -hmm. And then it started to rally right after the election. And then Mr. Trump came in and made a comment saying that he was mad about drug pricing too. And they went down again. Right. So we think they're on sale. We like to buy what's on sale. Uh, and there are some really interesting companies, and especially pharma, biotech, uh, that are making lots of money and will make a lot of money in the future that are selling at cheap prices. What, what, what's what interesting, Gary, is treating healthcare right now as if it's monolithic. It's really become a couple different sectors because the insurers, the hospital managed care mm -hmm. companies, are in a totally different world than biotech and big pharma. And so a lot of the attention, what Trump's comment this week, and you remember the famous Hillary tweet some time back that tanked biotech for that. Day, that's in a different plane than where the Obamacare affected well, companies. Well, why? Be. What do you mean by that? Why are they in a different world? Well, the entire revenue model, theoretically, of the insurers and managed care could be totally upended by a repeal of Obamacare. I don't think it could be. I think it will be. Right. But when you look at the things threatening big pharma, it's the notion that they need some sort of price fixing in place. And and Trump's flirted with it, and he made the comment, but there's not real policy meat on the bones yet about what that would look like. So that makes you nervous. Well, but it makes me, it's opportunistic because I don't believe we are going to have a price fixing mechanism in right. this country. Mm -hmm. So it, it compresses valuation and makes guys like us buyers. Uh -huh. yeah. um, the market overall, I mean, people are talking about less regulation, lower taxes, both on the corporate side, the individual side, and there's this expectation that the market is going to get it. And that's partly what's been built into valuations. What happens if it doesn't happen right away? We don't see tax cuts. Yeah, look, uh, this happens every time, right? We've had four Republican sweeps in the last hundred years, and they all are on the same kind of premises. We're going to cut taxes, and we're going to decrease regulation, and we're going to have all this positive, and there's all this ebullience, and you get this little rally post-election right into the inauguration, and then boom. With um, Bush, it was down 33. With Reagan, it was down 27. And then we can go all the way back, unfortunately, to Hoover, and it was down a lot. Uh, so yeah, but but you know this is a guy who's got the house has got the Senate. He's got he's got a lot of wind at his back, so to speak, to to be able to get some of these things and, done. And, and here she's the get so, wait, so Mark, are you saying you expect a similar sort of uh, correction uh, come February? Look, we're we're cautious about the markets. We think they're highly valued. They're priced for perfection, right. as Trish was saying. And the problem is, it's going to take a lot longer for all these things to actually happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. People are going to start saying, well, where is it? I agree with you, David. I, I, I would agree. I think in terms of overall market valuation, there, it's, it's stretched. There's a full value kind of feel to it. But I think there's certain pockets yeah. that are, are much more opportunistic. It's a good time to be selective. It's funny. Active managers say that every year. Right. And, and I, all I can really say is I think this is the year it may be true. But to the point about tax reform, um, we ran a study for clients going back to pre-Reagan's tax cut. And it, it certainly, prices started here and ended up here when he got it done. But along the way, there was a lot of gyration because there's going to be a process on Capitol Hill to get it done. I think it's going to get done. I think it's going to be great for markets. But along the way, with the Republican Congress or not, it's not going to be. All right, Dave, David, David, you mentioned the active managers. You said you've got to be selective. So before we let you go, you've got to be, be, select, be selective. Tell us. Um, tell, 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 I, can't tell us say, I can't say enough how, how uh, bullish we are in the energy sector. Okay. I truly believe, President 
President Trump for all the things people may say, good or bad. Deregulation. I, I think he has a chance to be the energy president. Yep. That's the one sector, and the market has started to price it, but not fully. There's a lot of wind at the well, back. What's your favorite energy. stock in the sector? Uh, we love Spectra Energy from a pipeline standpoint, and certainly the oil services. Schlumberger has always been a real leader there. And in a, in a weird way, General Electric has a big energy well, play as well. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. All right. All right. Good to have you here. Yeah, Mark, thanks. David, good to see you guys. Thank, Thank you so much. Wall Street Week, we'll be right back.